One. Got any rights yet? I do. Just like that baby that told me down by the cold creek It don't matter if the bowls are dusty beer And the tackle box out on the floor Baby, that hook with only the rattle of the floor And the sunshine ripples in the sweet tide Papa's going out of sight Give it if it tastes all night Ooh, I'm gonna catch me a whip Cause I kinda like a bit And I don't matter Oh, I love this. And that's called Catch Me a Winner. And that is the brand new single that you can hear on the radio right now with that young lady that you're looking at, Miss Claudia Heuser. Claudia, Hello. how are you? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me on. I'm trying to get all my, my posts shared and everything. So, <laughs> so you're looking at me, I'm like, am I on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we can wait. Go ahead, check it out. We'll wait. I gotta do it. I want to. I want to make no, sure this. No, I know. Up while you're doing stage. that, while you're doing that, I have my Heuser blend yeah. coffee that I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to take a little sip of my Heuser blend while you get all that straightened out. Are you kidding me? You're drinking the good stuff over there. It's the mm -hmm. best. This is the best I got to tell you. And I can't wait to share this with Deb next time she comes over. And right now, of course, we're doing the uh, social distancing thing. She's 16 miles in that other direction. 16 miles. Well, I don't know. Close to that. Close to that. But usually when I get to his house, we go down to his studio. And the first thing I ask for is a cup of coffee to bring down with me. So. Perfect. You're my kind of people. I knew it all along. Yeah. You drink a lot of coffee, right, Claudia? Oh my gosh, so much. And I always have forever and ever. And I ended up putting in a little vintage espresso pot into all these videos we do every week online. We call it Hoiser Country Monday. And coffee is just a big thing in my life. It's always been a big thing in my manager's life and at the studio. So it became like our big inside, not joke, but just a part of who we are. It's and a part of what we do. Coffee pot in all the videos, and they went viral online. And so now um, we actually were able to come out with my very own blend, Hoiser Country Blend. And it's delicious, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you. It's really, and I'm not kidding. This is it. It's the real. I wish I could show it, but if I tip, then well, I can't do that. I know. So, we, we'll have to, we have to talk about it so everybody can believe us and taste it out there for themselves. Absolutely. And uh, before we wrap this up tonight in a little while, we'll tell everybody how they can get their own Hoiser Blend coffee. There you go. Well. So let's, let's talk about you a little bit. I know uh, you're right up the road in Rochester, if I'm not mistaken. Not too far. Not too far. I was on a Facebook live concert last night in um east idaho wasn't it east idaho the night wow. before that was nebraska and we've been just touring around the country via facebook so it feels good to be back at home you know we're tuning into syracuse tonight and yeah i'm yeah. here in rochester so not too far away you know it's amazing just think i've told everybody this i know deb deb has heard this quite often but 20 years ago we have not we would not be able to do what we're doing so mm -hmm. i know and i'm so thankful for it every day I'm, i don't know what we would be doing if we couldn't do this and stay connected yeah. with everybody and i know your manager tony he's right on top of all this stuff so and and he's right by your side and he I, is, he's, you know he's right behind the camera i know so it sure this goes smooth Oh, yeah. He's like all over it. And he's a good man. He's one of the best people I know. So it's pretty awesome. But uh, Claudia, how long? Uh, what? what? Did, I score, did I score some points? You did. You did. He's all smiles over here. <laughs> did, he, did, did he blush? Absolutely. His head is gleaming. His head is gleaming, he said. <laughs> I get it. Uh, let's, let's talk about you, though. Let's go back. Let's talk about your career and what got you to where you are today. Let's start My from the career. beginning. I still can't believe I can call it that. Do you know that? It is, though. Yeah, it's, it's your dream. But it, you're, you're living I never saw this coming, that I was going to be able to do this for, you know, full-time. My full-time job is waking up every day and being a country artist, and I just never, ever saw that coming. And now we've added coffee to the mix, and 
We've had so many shows in the past year that I got to open for some of my idols. Um, and it's just been unbelievable. We've had four singles out to country radio. We just released our fifth one. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yes. And I can't wait to get it down the road here in Syracuse. So. I can't wait for you to play it. We've had some requests. I know people are tuning into the wolf all over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me ask you while I have you right there. Um, I, it's gone now. Your website is ClaudiaHoyser.com. That's the okay. one. Yep. All right. What I saw ClaudiaHoyserCountry.com in the back. <laughs> Oh, that's Hoiser Country. That's for the coffee. Oh, I got you. I got so, you. Hoiser <laughs> Country Blend, .com, And Claudia Hoiser will link you to all my music and my story and background and all that. Uh, I got you. I got you. So how, how young were you when you started playing? Oh, my gosh. Well, I've been <laughs> singing. I think since I've been able to talk, I've been singing. Um, okay. I got a karaoke machine when I was very young for Christmas and... It could have been the, the best decision my parents ever made. Or the worst. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm sure today they think it was the best. Maybe yeah. maybe when you were younger, it might have been a little bit difficult to tolerate. But definitely, yeah. My little sister was ready to turn that, unplug that thing forever. Um, I think a year after we got it. But um, yeah, I just it's always been something I love to do. It's always been my most favorite hobby in the world. Um, it didn't matter how long I went without playing or without writing. Somehow it always seemed to creep back into my life. Mm -hmm. And um, when I went away to college, I was contacted by somebody who I went to high school with previously. And he's like, I know you don't really remember me, but I'm trying to move out to L.A. to become a videographer. And I was hoping that maybe you'd want to make a music video because I know that you, you write your own songs. And you, you like to make YouTube videos and all that. So I told him, of course, I would love to make a music video. That'd be awesome. And he asked me if I had anything professionally recorded. And I said, well, does GarageBand in my actual garage count? <laughs> he said, Smart. um, no. I'm going to see what I can do. So he heard about this studio not too far from my house and uh -huh. um, from where we live and in Rochester and he called up Tony who is now my manager and producer and co-writer and he called me back and he said hey this guy wants to cut us a deal we're gonna we're gonna go out to the studio and record next week and I'm like I'm cloud nine this is the coolest thing that's ever happened I've never seen a real huge studio before and so we went out there. I had my uncle take the day off from work because he was playing guitar for me. And we show up to the studio all ready to record. And Tony says, wait a second. Hold up. Uh -oh. I don't even know who you guys are. I just wanted to see what you're up to. Maybe say hello, do a little meet and greet. Um, I'm, I'm not just going to whip out all the microphones and record you today. I have a schedule and all this stuff. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my gosh, I was mortified. Um, uh -huh. Long story short, Tony ended up knowing my uncle from way back when. Wow. He recorded okay. him. Um, mm -hmm. He was one of the, my uncle was in one of the first bands ever to record here at GFI Studios. Mm -hmm. And so things kind of came full circle. He said, all right, since I kind of know you guys, let's just do it. So we recorded the song that day and Tony heard something kind of special in my voice and asked me if I'd want to come back and write sometime. And we wrote about two or three songs in the next time we sat down together. And it's really been history ever since. So I've been working on this full time since, um, pretty much since I graduated college. Yeah, and which was how long ago? That was in 2016. Wow, mm -hmm. just yeah. yesterday though. Still a baby. <laughs> Still a baby <laughs> in our eyes. That as long as I can. Yes, you should, you should. Exactly. Now, do you have a regular band that you play with all the time? or um... It's crazy. We have so many incredible musicians that have been helping me out with my record. First of all, um, there's probably been 10 to 12 on the record. Uh -huh. um, and we've got about nine that we can get together in the same room and, and play. And we've been out on the road with about six or seven of us. So we have some, some rotating members. Everybody wants to play when we can. And 
Um, I'm so thankful for them and I can't wait to be back together. And so we can actually get out there and play soon. I miss them a lot. Yeah, we um we actually did a show. Was it two Christmases ago? I'm trying to think. We had you come in and and do a show at the Fireside Inn. Yeah, yeah. we did. We did a little for that. Yes, right? yes, and what a great time that was. That and, was awesome. That was a cool little stage that got set up over there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you remember it? You remember? Yeah, it? Of course. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, you guys are always on the road. You're hitting different stages. You're meeting and greeting a lot of different people. It's I don't know how you keep it all straight. I, I don't I really know. Don't. Sometimes things get a little fuzzy, but there's key key parts I always remember. Like I remember that Zach took me on the dance floor that <laughs> night. Your son, we had yeah. a blast. I oh, think yeah. he's tuning in. He better be watching. He's probably upstairs watching. I'm waiting <laughs> for a message to come across before the night is over. He will ask you to marry him. Perfect. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Let oh. me know when he wants to pop the cue. <laughs> you know, and, and when it, when the message comes in, I can do something like this. Let me just show you what comes across the screen. This is um, really, really cool. For example, uh, Ray definitely has a special voice and sound uh, that came across. We've got uh, here's Toby. I don't know if you know some of these people always listening from Santa, you know, oh. California. And awesome. I awesome. And I saw one on here from uh, Australia. So, oh, girl, you're really? all world around. I mean, all the way around the world. Which, oh, here it is, right here. And uh, say hi to a Andrew. Andrew's got got us on uh, in Australia, Sydney. Wow, awesome. very nice. Hello, Andrew. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, and uh, you know, if anybody has any questions, uh, just put them put them there in the comments se uh, section, and I'm sure you will. Uh, answer them to the best of your ability. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I, know will. You, I, know I know you would. Tell us a little bit more about the music now. You're on single number five, is it? Single number five. Is that right? Oh my is God. Is that right? I can't even believe it. It's been unbelievable since our first single took off kind of by accident. Do you remember No Matter What It Costs? Yes, very well. Yeah, so we had that song end up in the hands of a country DJ around here, um, Stone Hill, he, he mm -hmm. started playing that song when it wasn't even mastered and it just kind of took off and you added it to your station and then about 30 other stations across the U.S. added it and we started traveling around and visiting stations and um, in the meantime, we were working on my record and so now we've been still trying to finish that record up and if this whole pandemic thing has been good for one thing, it's that I can finally sit still and try to finish this record up here in the studio. Mm -hmm. So we've been like writing like crazy. We've got over 200 songs so far that we've written. And uh, yeah. So how can, how do you pick what you want to record out. next? I'm sorry. How do you pick what you want to record next when you have a portfolio of 200 it is so hard. How do you pick 12 songs for a record when you have mm -hmm. that many songs? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. But at least it makes the first record easier to kind of wrap and finish and complete because I already know that we have like a second one almost done already. So <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been unbelievable, but I'm glad to get a chance to really sit down and pick out the favorites and what I think needs to come out right now. And we've been having mm -hmm. a little struggle with that but hopefully i have a good enough idea from what we've been playing out in the past and i kind of get a good feel for what everybody's liking and i'm excited to show everyone a different side of of me through this record right and when you say we when it comes to writing who's we yeah tony gross tony gross the tony. same one who owns the studio and asked me mm -hmm. if i wanted mm -hmm. to write sometime and now he is my manager and co-writer and producer and uh, cooking, he cooks all the food in the whole world here at the studio. Bring your laundry you know, over. Yeah, you might have seen some of his meals. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen any of his meals. I always hashtag it Studio Eats, and it really looks like I made it, but I definitely didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And Tony being a musician himself, so he's got he's got the studio and the knowledge to help you with the writing and I'm sure you guys sit down and throw all your ideas out on a table and then you kind of piece it together from there, correct? It's been it's different every single time. Sometimes we'll be in the same room when it happens. Sometimes Tony will give me a call and say, "Hey, I've got this idea. I'm going to send you a voice memo." 
and then I'll listen to it and try to come up with something to go along with it. And then we get in the studio the next day, we put it down. It's always something different, but some, somehow the magic just happens and we get songs like our new single that just happen on a whim. And I love it's it. Been, it's been great, but I do have a little story. The new single actually didn't come about just from Tony and I, we were called by a female captain and angler, so fisherwoman, from ESPN <laughs> Real Talk Radio. Really? She called us, yeah. And she's like, I heard your videos online. I heard your music. I saw your videos. And I really love your voice. So I was like, that is awesome. But I'm not like a professional fisherwoman. So what's going on here? <laughs> and she needed a new theme song for her radio station, for her talk show. So once she told us what she was all about, we sat down and wrote a song for her. And we were hoping that she would like it more than us doing a cover. And she loved it. So she's actually using it at the top of the hour for her real talk right. radio on ESPN. And, and then we just okay. love the song so much, we thought we'd put it out for our new single. That is awesome. And it's yeah, called Catch Me a Winner. Correct. What'd you say? And that, that's Catch Me a Winner that you're talking about. That's Catch Me a Winner. Yeah. So it's a fun play on words about fishing love and about some other stuff. And it's just, I think since it's one of the only things people can do right now, if they're going to get outside, you can go fishing. It's connecting a lot with the fishing community. But obviously, I'm no pro. I've got some, some family childhood growing up stories where my family and I, we always went to the Thousand Islands. Um, I'm sure you've been. Have mm -hmm. you been up there? Oh, many times. Yep. Oh, it's yep. The best. It's, it is the best. Cottage. So, you oh, know, wow. I grew up fishing there. And so I've got my fair share of little stories, but um, we were able to put a fun play on words so that it just kind of connects with everybody. It's I love it. Where did you um, Where did you shoot the video? We haven't even done a full video. We just okay. did the lyric video. Okay. And that one was just filmed right around here outside the studio. The uh -huh. studio sits on 50 acres. So we've got a little piece of like, there's a creek out there and you got the woods and it looks like a million different sets, but we're usually always at the same place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to Deb. She <laughs> we lucked out with that. Yeah, that it sounds awesome. Um, the... You know, being up in the Thousand Islands, did you, were you on an island by yourself or were you guys, do you, uh, in, a, in a cottage just with everybody else? Yeah, my grandparents had a cottage right in T.I. Park. And uh, so they were in like a little neighborhood community and um, it was just the best, some of the best memories I have growing up. And we'd get there and we'd immediately want to go fishing. And then I went through that phase of being afraid that I was hurting the worm. So <laughs> I didn't want to go fishing anymore. And then my dad and my uncle and my grandpa, they taught me about lures. And mm -hmm. then I was okay with it because then I wasn't hurting the worm anymore. So, oh yeah, I have, I have so many memories just being up there it and going out on the boat. You know, and favorite all, way to spend the summer. Yeah. And all those memories, Claudia, they make for great songs. You know, I mean, the they memories... Do. Uh, growing up, what you've done from fishing to everything else. And, you know, you've got, you got a lot of uh, great uh, information for some great songs. Great idea. Yeah, which is that, cool. I used a lot of it. I channeled a lot of that for um, both Catch Me a Winner, the new single. And did you hear the Camping World song? Yes. From a while ago. Down down years years ago. Yes. Yes. Yep. We wrote a theme song for Camping World's campaign called Life is Better Hitched. Mm -hmm. And it's just the same thing. It's just like remembering being with the family and all those good times. And I channeled a lot of that from the Thousand Islands. That's for sure. You know, I, I love having this conversation with you because uh, I can see people chiming in from all over the world, as I mentioned minutes ago, uh, Australia and Johannesburg. And um, well, somebody's talking about the Thousand Islands. Uh, Thank you. I can, Thank you guys for tuning in. I think that, that that's really cool. And everybody knows you. Everybody knows you all the way around the world. How cool is that? Tell us about being on the road a little bit, where you've been, who you've performed with, uh, maybe a certain memory that might stick out. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. There's things. I've already done things. Every time something comes in, I'm like, how are we going to top this? What are we going to do next? Because I never saw this coming. So the fact that I got to go 
to Texas. I flew my band. We went to Texas and opened up for Easton Corbin. And uh, we took quite the road trip to Myrtle Beach and got a chance to play with Cassidy Pope and, um, and Sister Hazel right on Myrtle Beach looking out at the ocean. And um, we were in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I got to open up for Pam Tillis and Lori Morgan. Wow. And then that just spiraled. I just got to pull Pam Tillis into my Facebook Live a couple weeks ago and have her on and just chat with her. There's just and been so many things. How is she to talk to? Is she easy to oh, talk to? Always a, Is yeah. she a lot of fun? Very she open. Is, she's a lot of fun, but she's so down to earth. Like I love it. She's hilarious. She's keeping up with TikTok. She's on TikTok now. I love so it. Got a big combo about that. Um, but she Are you on great TikTok? Advice. She's been on the road forever. Yeah. You know, she's been doing this for most of her life. So I can learn a lot from her. Are you on TikTok? I am on TikTok <laughs> and I need to get better at it. <laughs> I was gonna ask, I'm still trying to work it out, but uh, my Zach's got it down. So. He does. He needs to teach oh, yeah. me a few things. Uh, he needs to teach his dad a few things as well. I don't know if Tony's on TikTok yet. Uh, is Tony on TikTok? Tony is not on TikTok, but <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I have him check mine out because things are so funny on there. I'm like, you need to see this. I was showing him videos today. Yeah. I love it. Ah, uh, there she is. Deb. <laughs> oh, you're back. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Deb? I'm back. Deb is back. Oh, good, good, good. Sorry about, I don't know what happened. I just clicked off there. So that's all right. That's okay. I went into panic mode. Like, what did I do? Oh my gosh. No. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Yeah. Um, I, did I, uh, I think I just read you made an acting debut. Was that correct? Well, yeah, that was crazy too. We, um, I got a chance to play the small role of Hannah in the film mm -hmm. Wildflower which was a Sony movie. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, they, they originally, the producer was filming the movie around here in Rochester and mm -hmm. Nick DiBella, he, he wanted to use one of my songs for his movie mm -hmm. and he ended up using a couple songs. And then after we met, he said, would you by any chance just want to play the, the role? Because I need a singer songwriter actress. Nice. And I was like, <laughs> would I want to? Are you kidding me? So that's how that came about. And it was crazy. So we're hoping for some more roles in the future. We've been talking with him a little bit about some upcoming some upcoming mm -hmm. films. So fingers crossed. How was that experience? Did you like the the well, if you want to do more roles, you must have loved it, but I it loved wasn't it. yeah. <laughs> it was a small part. I seriously had a couple lines, but just being involved in that side of things. Um, acting is always something I wanted to try. I took an acting class in college just to try, try to fulfill that for once and then never expected to really end up in a movie. Um, but ever since the, the music and the acting, it really kind of goes hand in hand. So I would love to do more of that. Yeah. Once an entertainer, you're always an entertainer. And mm -hmm. you'll, I don't, you've probably noticed that there's a lot of artists, that singers, songwriters, they go on to uh, be in different productions, whether it's a movie or a television show. So that's kind of cool. It's all the same. You're an entertainer. You, you're not afraid to be in front of people. You're not afraid to, to do what you have to do to make people happy. And uh, it's in your blood and you do a great job at it. Thank so. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes speaking is harder than actually singing. Because <clears throat> when you get to sing, you know the words already. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, so. that's true. I have a tough time speaking and that's what I do for a living. <laughs> So. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> he doesn't have a tough time speaking. No, you're a natural. No, I, don't know. I don't know about that. You're a natural when it comes to singing. I'll tell you that much. Tell us, hey, we got to talk a little bit about this. The Heuser Country Blend. How did the coffee thing come down? You would not even believe it. Tony just went to go get some coffee right now. The timing on that was perfect. So <laughs> the coffee came about... I told you, I just always, I've always loved coffee. It's always mm -hmm. been a huge part of my life. My grandma used to sneak some in my sippy cup when I was younger because I just loved it. And, um, and Tony had this GFI espresso club going on for years at the studio. So when I started showing up to the studio, I quickly started out drinking everybody in pots of espresso. 
And um, <laughs> so we ended up here. Let me just grab this really quick. Tony, yeah, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. That's amazing. We've ended up putting these little vintage espresso pots oh, in cute. all of our Poison Country Monday videos that I put up every Monday at six o'clock. And uh, they just, they took off and went viral. And I started playing shows out and I was talking about the videos. And one of the bar owners came up to me and asked me about the coffee pot. And he said, I've been following you around. I've seen your videos online. Mm -hmm. Not in a creepy way, you know, he's been following oh, my music. I got you. He goes, <laughs> what is with the coffee pot? And I told him, basically what I just told you. And he went in the corner and talked to Tony for the rest of the night. And then they came up to me at the end of the show. And he said, Claudia, aside from owning this bar, I've been in the coffee business my whole life. How would you like to get your own blend out there? Maybe have your face on the bag or something. <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding me? Of course. But I didn't believe it at all. I was like, there's no way that's going to happen. And then the next week he was coming over to the studio with beans from all over the world. And <laughs> we were taste testing like crazy. I think it's never going to be actually out of my system from that taste mm -hmm. testing party we had. Um, and I we found it. the most amazing little mixture and I just love it so much. So I came out with Hoiser country blend and it's now shipping into over 14 countries Thanks to everybody here on Facebook who's been ordering wow. and, and listening. So if they want to go online, can they order the coffee pot? They can't order the coffee pot. Okay. Maybe that'll be coming in the future. I think that's a great idea. Whole bean or ground right now. And we've got some other really cool things coming up. And I've oh. also got my EP out there, but the full length record will be coming soon. So I'm telling everybody to watch out for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, if somebody wants to order some coffee or... Uh, maybe order the EP. Is it all the same website or do you have a, like a separate website for the coffee or, or not? HoiserCountry.com will get you all the merch. Um, but also Claudia Hoiser will link you there anyway, but I want to mm. give you a heads up that if anybody is in near Baldwinsville, who's tuning in tonight, it's at tops there. So they really? wow. will be in our ground at tops in Baldwinsville. Yeah. That's right around the corner. It's right over there. Oh, wait a minute. Perfect. Perfect. So how did that. you, how did you get it in the grocery store? Did somebody do that for you or did you go knock on their door and ask them to market your, your blend? It's crazy. It's a lot of amazing people on my side have been helping me out with this. And there's obviously so many people who have been um, way more involved in the grocery side of things. I've never had a venture in that before. So mm -hmm. we've got an awesome team who's been helping us out with that, but I do my fair share. I go to the stores in the morning and greet people and do samples and tell them about my music and have them try the coffee as much as I can. Cause I really, it's not just something I put my name on. Um, mm -hmm. we, I developed this whole thing and I helped design the bag and everything. And so I really care about getting it out there just like music. That's really awesome. We have uh, some people asking if you would play a song, is that possible? Do you think we could give it a try? And I think I could do that. I would love to. And, and, love and I'm hoping, I was hoping you would, uh, but I'm just, you know, with the internet and the, the way we're doing this with the, the technology once in a while, it breaks up a little bit. So, but we'd love to hear something. Yeah. I don't want it to break up, but I'm gonna, I'll am i just go for it and whatever we get. Let's we get do it, girl. Happen. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. All right. I'm going to grab my guitar. Yeah, you go grab your guitar and uh, that's Claudia Hoiser. She's going to go grab her guitar and, well, Tony's handing it to her. Uh, <laughs> Nice, is nice arms, yeah. Yes, yeah, got uh, Deb Lamphere has joined us again, and Deb joins me on all these Skip Happens podcasts when we talk to a lot of the new artists, uh, whether they're in Nashville or this example where Claudia is right up the New York Street Thruway, probably uh, about an hour and a half away at that. So uh, it's nice to have you close to, close to Syracuse and uh, some really, really good people. Just a quick bit about Deb. She is the president of the Country Music Fan Club, the official Country Music Fan Club. And uh, she has a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. She's been in Nashville. She's got a son that lives in Nashville. She does a lot with the shows. Uh, so we've kind of partnered in in doing this. I do it from the radio side. And Deb's doing it from the fan side. And she brings artists like you, Claudia, in front of 
fans or new fans mm-hmm. you know, wherever she is or when we do a show, which is pretty That's cool. awesome. That's so great. I'm so glad you're here today, Deb. Well, this is great that you're so close because we can actually call you on a moment's notice. And if you're free yes. some weekend, we'll bring you right out here to to play a showcase. Absolutely. And, and, I would love it. I would love it. And I don't know if you were, if you were on or off when I mentioned this. Claudia was just here two Christmases ago, I believe, at the Fireside Inn. And we did a show with the Christmas broadcast. So That is yeah. very nice. That is right. the Fireside still here? Is it even still? In- yes. Oh, yeah. It is? yeah it's oh. like everything else right now, though. It's... You know, it's, yeah, it's closed up. I couldn't remember if the place was still here. Oh, yeah. Anyway, new owners and it's all been remodeled and they've got a really cool little stage there. So it's really Very nice. Cool. All right, Claudia, what are we going to do? Well, I am going to play you a song that is it was released on my EP years ago and we have reworked mm-hmm. it and freshened it up. And it's going to be the title track of my full length record when that comes out this year. So. This All is right. uh, Red Lights Turning Green. Okay. Very right. nice. It's good. You better know the words. I got to know the words? Yes. You know, I'll right shut my mic off and sing. It's all yours. Go for it. Thank you. And no, I've got a choice No, I have a voice But I don't always know what to say Known it all alone I know it's right or not I don't always choose the best time and place but if you see to me and me, I'll keep standing strong. To melt the mountains and the hills, I'll keep trying on my will. Leave the trouble in the backseat, battle to the floor, the red lights turning green. Let out the mountains and the hills I'll keep trucking on my wheel Leave the trouble in the backseat Pedal to the floor The red lights turning green I've played such silly games And I tried and tried to change But my heart always loves in the end I have broken all my walls Use the bridge to break the fall When I stand And I pray But you say To me and me I keep standing Strong Mm-hmm. To the mountains and the hills I'll keep trying on my will Leave the struggle in the backseat Pedal to the floor The red lights turning green To melt the mountains and the hills I'll keep trying on my will Leave the struggle in the backseat Pedal to the floor The red lights turning green Turning green to melt the mountains in the hills. 
That was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, the response, unbelievable. Here again, mm. all around the world. And here I know. You we, we have people, oh, I so see much. Brazil, Venezuela. There's all sorts of. Uh, it's amazing. People folks. out there, they impress me every single day. We've got friends um, in Norway when we put out these um, videos um, mm -hmm. at six o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Mondays. Um, people in Norway stay up till midnight every single time. And they, they pipe in there, they say, okay, I stayed up and watched it, now I can go to bed. So people are just amazing out there and they're tuning in from all over and it just warms my heart every time I see it. So thank That's you guys beautiful. for checking, out, checking it out today. Yeah, that is really cool. I, I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, number one, you're just an awesome, awesome singer. Your oh, talent you. is unbelievable. And then you've got great management. We we see a lot of managers and all, and all that. But knowing Tony, you know, we mm -hmm. talk a little bit on the phone when I have time. And, uh, you know, I know he does a lot to really get you out there. And I firmly believe that other managers should watch what Tony does because he does it right. He does He's it right. amazing. He's amazing. I feel like the word manager gets a really bad rep. Um, like sometimes, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Like we, he's taught me so much. He's completely opened the books and showed me what he knows from his history in the music business. And he's just, you know, showing me the ropes and mm -hmm. I'm trying to pull in what I know from modern day, whatever's going on mm -hmm. out there now and what mm -hmm. I see my friends doing and listening to and, um, he's just taught me so much about the industry as a whole that I don't think a lot of artists get the opportunity to learn. And I can't imagine not knowing all this stuff, but years ago, I never even would have thought about it um, right, until right. he started teaching me and showing me. So yeah, he's really made it happen. And, and we work together side by side every single day. And, well, uh, it's I think that really... I think what really helps is the fact that he knows a lot about the other side of the business as well. Not just somebody yeah. that can manage somebody and, you know, and it's not all about the money. It's all about doing the right thing. And mm -hmm. he knows that he's been there and yeah. have a manager like that. I think that's, that's a win all the way around. Exactly. So. He's, he showed me what it means to just have the right content being the good content that you truly mm -hmm. believe in. And that's what I'm able to wake up and and have that knowing that I'm backing something that I wholeheartedly believe in because it's it's what we've created. So not not everybody gets the chance to do that and to mm -hmm. um, fully be behind what they're doing. And I am. So I'm, I'm so lucky. And yeah, that's thanks to everything he's taught me. Yeah, well, your music is phenomenal, as, as I've mentioned a million times already tonight. What do you, What's next for you? Where do you see yourself going? What are you going to be doing? What, uh, you know, I know right now we have a situation where not much is going on, but maybe that's a good thing for somebody like you to be able to kind of regroup and write and, you know, and play some things and see what certain things sound like. But uh, how about down the road? What do you see yourself doing? Well, down the road. So if we pretend all this, craziness wasn't going on mm -hmm. i would be opening up for mr toby keith and clay walker at the california rodeo in mm. july Are you we did see that on the schedule i was going to ask you if that was still scheduled or not I well know. we just actually heard from the promoters of the show and they're doing their absolute best to um, put things together and make it happen so it might be pushed off a little bit Mm -hmm. But I think no matter what, we're really going to try to put the show's going to go on. So, mm -hmm. so uh, fingers crossed about that. And we have good hopes mm -hmm. and high expectations for it. So fingers crossed. Great. Well, exciting for you. And okay. then other than that, we're going to be putting out the record soon. Yeah. Um, hopefully just going a lot more Facebook live in the past, like, I don't know, four Facebook lives. 
I think I've been in front of, I can't even, I don't even know. I think it's been about 50,000 a night. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I, and so it's numbers. really, it's different. Yeah. There's no applause at the end of a song, no, but I'm getting a chance to kind of tell my story. There's there the, you go. <laughs> There's your applause. You deserve all of that. You deserve all of <laughs> it. Like, what is that? Yeah, no. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. And he come back out for the encore. You know, <laughs> Perfect. Long, you don't get one of these. You don't want one of those. You don't want one of those. What's this? There you go. When you tell your joke. All your tricks. Yeah, I don't. Oh, that's scary. You don't want that one. Oh my god! All if right. you followed me around with those noises, I'd hear a lot of that. Some really? Joke coming out of this. Uh, right you, does Tony play any games on you? Like trick you? Does he like mess around with you? Like kind of make you? Not really? Like, no. Not really. Maybe I after a cup of coffee. coffee. You would never try something before a cup of coffee. But ah, okay. um, the, the Toby Keith show announcement was a pretty good trick because I didn't know that was coming. And they surprised me with a phone call for that. So Tony had that all set up and, and I got a call from the show and they were asking me if I wanted to open for Toby Keith. And I didn't believe it. I was like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? And Tony knew the whole time. So that's kind of a joke, I guess. That yeah. Tony yeah. No, that's, like. that's, you know. He knew that you would be over the top of that. and Exactly. And I'm usually right here for when all the phone calls come in. So somehow I missed that one. And it was it was a really good surprise. <laughs> what? How did you feel uh, the first time you ever heard your song on the radio? Oh, I think there's a video of that. Really? Yep, there is. It's somewhere on YouTube and somewhere on my Facebook page. I was screaming. I was like jumping up and down. I'm sure. <laughs> oh my god! Do you gonna find it? Uh, I I will look when we get done here tonight. It was crazy. I just I didn't even know what to do. I was in my car and I just rolled down the windows because I was like by myself. And I think Tony was actually driving near me, so we like pulled over and listened in our cars, and we're both just sitting there like this is really awesome. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. And I, I just still can't believe that we've had songs out there on the radio. And, you know, as much as I don't like to get up early and chat with radio interviews in the morning, <laughs> I will do it every day if it means that people want to hear my music. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Absolutely. Your music is, uh, it needs to be heard. It needs to be heard even more. And I can tell already you've got a big fan base and it's They're growing. Amazing. It's growing every minute. It's growing. I'm watching the messages come in here. And uh, just, uh, you know, I can put, there's one from Jeff. Um, man, I'll tell you, um, somebody said, uh, let's see here. Applause, applause, applause. You got to love that. It's Mr. Bob Baker. Got to love that. Um, let's see. Who else do we have here? We have, uh, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, oh, he's from California. I saw his earlier post. So that, that's cool. I don't know if you, you know, a lot of these people, if you know them or they follow you, but uh, you definitely have a lot of fans out there. Which is, I know. I try yeah. to keep in touch with a lot of them. Like I follow, I try to keep close contact and get back to everybody. Obviously, as time goes on and there's more, it's harder for me to actually write back to everyone. But I read <laughs> everything. And um, I'm just so, so thankful. So thank you guys. Always a country out there who's tuning in tonight. I love you. Thank you so much for coming over. And I hope you guys will check out and like this page, Skip Happens. <laughs> Because Skip is a DJ that's very close to home for me and one of the very first that interviewed me and that's made me feel right. so at home and so comfortable. So thank Aww. you. Oh, no, I'm blushing. Aww. No, yeah. Just, I love talking to you. It's like, you know, I love it's what I do. Interview. It's just like friends chatting. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that so much. That's the way it's supposed to be. Exactly. That's the way I think interviews need to be. It is what it is. It, nothing formal. Uh, we just have a good conversation. And we find out a little bit about you. And, of course, you know, they can you can find out a little bit about me. But uh, it, <laughs> it's Deb, more about thank you. you so much and Deb. Deb is you. awesome. Especially because yeah. the past few nights I've been on here by myself, talking to myself. So <gasps> I'm so glad that I have somebody to both of you to banter with tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that out Deb, on the spot because I test her with this all the time. Uh -oh. uh, see if she's got it down. Tell us about your country music fan club. Woo. Here I go. <laughs> 
We, uh, well, we're an organization. We promote and uh, sponsor and participate all aspects of country music. We specialize, though, in the upcoming artists, the independent artists. We love bringing the artists out, especially to Syracuse right now or anywhere hereabouts. We introduce the artists to new fans. We bring fans to new artists, which is a win-win for everyone. They get a great VIP experience. They get up close and personal. They get to know you. You get to know them. You can introduce your coffee to them too when you come next, come here next. <laughs> so uh, it's a great opportunity. We really, really enjoy it. We actually found um, in Syracuse last year that it, it worked out really, really well where we had showcases and we brought some artists in from Nashville. And, you know, there's a lot of people that we love our local artists, love them, love them, love them. Um, but it's great to see some folks come to get to visit us here and our, our fans get a vibe of Nashville, you know, get yeah. a little bit of little taste of Nashville without actually going to Nashville. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. So That's awesome. Yeah. She's coming down. I love it. <laughs> yep. um, we need it. We need it. We need people to keep, you know, as soon as these floodgates open and we mm -hmm. can get back to Vegas, yes. get back to live music, we're going to need it. So that's awesome that you're doing that. Do you have any plans of being in Tulsa? David is asking. Tulsa? Oklahoma. Yes. I would love to. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> She's ready to go anywhere at this point. I've got, I I've got a video of Tulsa time up there, so you got to check yes, that out. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. And Dom Leo is asking this question. Oh, where to go? Is asking this question. Where do you get the coffee? Where do I get the coffee? Well, right. well where can I think he wants to buy some? So you, you said, can get it at HoiserCountry.com. Okay. And uh, it's just right on there. You can get ground or whole bean. Mm -hmm. I and think I'll sign the bag for you if you get awesome. it tonight. Uh, there you go, Dom. I want you to jump on the, the web and order it, and she will autograph the bag for you. So how cool is that? But I think, I know for a fact, Dom is from Syracuse, so he could also swing over to Tops. That's correct? true. Yeah. That's true. Or go to Tops in Baldwinsville. There you go, Dom. And uh, Dom is actually, I know he works at the ballpark, so. That's awesome. That's oh, look at that. We love you back. I love that. Love this stuff. And and hearing from all your fans, just phenomenal. Claudia, thank you so much for taking the time, uh, you know, to sit with us tonight and have a great conversation. Thank uh, you so much for having me. This was awesome. I'm going to continue my little tour, but I'm glad that, uh, that Syracuse and right here at home has made a big mark on my schedule. And I can't wait to actually be back and sit down with you very soon. Yeah, I, but we can't wait to, to have you. I know we'd love to get you here to do a show. And mm -hmm. you're just, I mean, I think when all this breaks, it's going to be crazy. There's mm -hmm. a show after show after show. Um, I'm just, uh, I want to, before we leave uh, tonight, I want to make sure that we can play the single in its entirety. Deb, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um. Just excited to have you come on. It was great to meet you. You have a great beautiful you, voice you. and Thank um, you so much. fantastic following. I'm very looking forward to having you come on out to Syracuse this way. I would absolutely love it. And I've got to tell everybody who's tuning in tonight, if you're near Syracuse, even if you're not, you can still call the wolf and tell <laughs> Skip you want to hear Catch Me a Winner whenever you feel like it. Just give That's him a true. Ring. And you saw him tonight. He's very nice. He's, you know, he's, you know. he's going to be very sweet on the phone, I'm sure. So <laughs> tell him you want to hear it. <laughs> well, I, I, I thank you. you know, and I do welcome the phone calls because then I really know that, you know, I need to play the song. And I can promise you I will be playing your song. And you can thank tell you Tony. So much. Aww, world. Absolutely. We will definitely do that. Claudia, you're awesome. Uh you know, thank you again for joining us here tonight. Before we leave, though, I'm going to see. I want to make sure this plays, and then we can wave goodbye. Oh, but I'm going to play your single in its entirety. Before I play it, before I play it, tell us again a little bit about "Catch Me a Winner." "Catch Me a Winner" is my brand new single. It's a fun play on words about fishing, and it came about because Real Talk Radio ESPN um, needed a theme song for their new talk show. So. 
catch me in winter. Here it is, everybody. Claudia, thank you. We're going to play it in its entirety. All right, here we go. Thank you. With only the rattle of the sunshine, ripples in the sweet tap, lovers going out of sight, even if it tastes home.